Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my can't believe it's already here wife Laura, and I'm here with my New Year husband Nathan, and we're here for the uh, January 2022 Tokyo Treat uh, mystery box. box. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now you guys are probably seeing this either early January or maybe late <coughs> December. However, we received this just a few days after we reviewed the December box. Like they shipped it early December, and it arrived. I think on like the 8th of December or something. So now we have a large build-up of <laughs> treats from Japan. Yes, we do. So we held off putting it up for you guys a little bit. But yeah, really, really quick shipping from Tokyo Treat. And um, this one's nice. It's actually got a design on the outside of the box of just sort of a summer sort of motive. Yeah. Lots of snacks on there. snack -a All looking very tasty. That looks like Pocky. Uh, so we have the premium box here. We subscribed for three months. So this is our second out of the three. Um, <clears throat> we did use a particular code that's no longer available. It was like a Black Friday special or yeah, something. Yeah, but they recall. do have codes on a regular basis. Uh, the price ranges from about 32 US dollars a month upwards, depending on... Um, like how long you subscribe for and things like that. So snack revolution. Let's just read backwards. So th this is the theme. Snack revolution. And yes, it goes backwards because it's from Japan. So there you go. Uh, so if you haven't seen these boxes, we're going to be tasting, well, not everything, but seeing a whole bunch of Japanese treats and drinks in here. The booklet is going to tell us what they are. It's a cheat sheet as well as a whole bunch of sort of information and things like that, which is cool. Yeah, there's a lot of like advertising for the, some of the brands. We have a chocolatery here from KitKat. I actually think it closed. Oh, it closed? Um, I, I, I heard it did. I don't know whether that's the case. Oh, that's a bummer. They've actually changed in this one. Um, it used to just have like a, a page in the middle that had a list kind of with a little picture, but they've got a whole Like a little section. mini description of each item. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's interesting. Okay. We have cafe latte. Cafe au lait. Au lait? I don't know. We'll probably pronounce half of it Kit wrong. Kit Kat. Not my jam. Mm. I'm not a big coffee drinker or latte drinker or whatever it is. Sorry, it took me a while to, to find it. Um, apparently this is a rare flavour. <clears throat> so it's a Tokyo Treat exclusive flavour. So this is the only place that you can try this particular one. Rare flavour of Kit Kats. We're getting rare foods. Yeah. Like, uh, we've got to collect them all. <laughs> So it's in creamy, milky, coffee flavoured chocolate. Well, that makes sense. Yes, you'll eat none of them, I know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is quite a big Hey, I'm going to have to like, move bag. this yeah. over. We're going to have a lot of room here. There we go. Uh, right. so is this, this upside down? Yes. Uh, so this I'm gonna, probably going to pronounce wrong. Fuwato edamame crackers. That sound pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a snacking made with rice. Thought to be the best rice in Japan from Niigata. And maybe? apparently it's the 20th anniversary of the company, I want to say. It doesn't mention that in the little mm. book, so... Very light, but I like edamame. Yeah, me too. Alright. Interesting. We have frog snacks. I'm pretty sure we've had these before. Some, even... of, the, some of these mascots are like looking a little familiar. Yeah. And even though um, we've only got three months this time, we have subscribed in the past. This is Cabbage Taro. Uh, I'm not quite sure I'm up for that, but... They're, little, they're just little crunchy snacks. They're actually really tasty. And they don't really taste like cabbage, per se. Um, it's got a sweet and sour sauce flavour, it says. So. Hmm. Hmm. Does somebody say jewellery jelly? Oh, okay. Um, this feels like there's nothing in it, like cotton candy. This is actually a kit to make Oh no. something. Oh, yes. Uh, so, Kira Kira jewellery jelly. Uh, let's see. You can make your own super cute jewel jelly. Which is why kit. it's just powder in there because you actually be able to add water and things to it. That would make sense. It's actually got the instructions um, in here in English as well. So that is very Thank handy. Do yes. Don't lose the booklet. <laughs> Thank you, Tokyo Treat. Fish snacks. Uh, okay. I'm glad I'm letting Laura pronounce all these. I can't pronounce things for. Uh, I'm going to go with Thai Arare. I have no idea if that is correct. You look, tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure I'm wrong with mm. a lot of them. Uh, Japanese flavors like soy sauce and mirin, mini sea bream Ooh. shaped snack. They sound delicious. They do sound delicious. Well, we're yeah. gonna try a couple of these, by the way. We yes. just gotta open everything first, and then we'll decide what we want to taste test. Angry drink. So I think you only get drinks in the premium box from memory. Mega patchy, huh? Mega Pachi energy drink. I can I can tell it's an energy drink because it says something in um, was it milli micrograms, <laughs> and usually it's only when they have sort of caffeine and things in them. Um, it doesn't really say a great deal about the flavour. 
Um, but it says this Japanese energy drinks can takes inspiration from kabuki theatre actors known for their powerful and energetic presence. Now, do you think it's going to taste like generic energy drink or do you think it's going to have a unique flavour? I'm not sure. We're filming this fairly late at night, so I'm not sure I need an energy drink right no, now. I don't so. think so. <gasps> Does somebody say fish cakes? <clears throat> Uh, sorry, it, it actually takes quite uh, a bit longer to find them in the booklet because they're not all on the same page. Still anymore. not as bad as looking for things on a trash pack tre checklist. <laughs> no. All right, this is a Tayaki. Uh, this is the fluffy custard. Ooh, scent. yummy. So, uh, spongy batter shaped like the much loved Thai sea bream. You'll find a creamy custard pairing. Share it with someone special. That sounds delicious. Do you want to try one? Yes, I think that sounds like a good one to try. Um, uh, another new feature since they have like uh, more information about them now, it has like the allergies, um, what it may contain traces Banana? of. That's a weird... <laughs> yeah. yeah, and whether they're suitable for vegetarians. So A lot of feedback I imagine from customers. Possibly. We don't really have a lot of major allergy issues. You, you are lactose intolerant, but you kind of eat things with lactose Shh, anyway. I've got tablets to help me deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's very like, it's very spongy. But for those who do have um, food allergies, I think that's really handy. Mm. Mm, that looks tasty. There you go, have a tail. Oh, it it's smells. quite heavy. Yeah, it's like really dense and mm. spongy. Mmm. That's a good... What is it again? <laughs> Fluffy custard taiyaki set. Mmm. Oh, that's quite thick and dense. It's not like a light... Um, like like a light custard. You wouldn't want to eat more than the one of those. No, it's sure. actually much more filling than mm. another light. More filling mm. than you might think. Hmm, tasty. All right. Oh, we've had several of these before. Mm, these I really like these. Um, they are. Is it in my bar? I want to say. These are the space stick. I haven't actually found it yet. In space. Oh goodness. Um. Ah, oh, yeah. Umaibo tonkatsu. That reminds me of Earthbound. That pig. So mm -hmm. it's a tonkatsu flay, a tonkatsu with a savory sauce twist. Um, this is basically like a hollow tube. Very savory, light. Crunchy tube. Very, very tasty. Would highly recommend trying them. We've had them in a few different flavors now. Did somebody say rainbow star? No, they said chimichurro stick. I didn't know. It's like a chimichurro chocolate stick. Like. Uh. Is it a chimichurro? Star shaped chimichurro stick, the light and crunchy choco corn snack will have you munching all night long. Hang Try this. it with milk. They Ooh. are perfect partners. Did I say chimichurro? That's definitely not what this is. No, no. Oh, it's hard. It is hard. You could use it as a straw, I wonder. Uh, it looks hollow there. I can see why you'd put it in milk though, like to soften it up a bit. I thought it was going to be a, a soft thing. Does somebody say, like, Look like rice cakes, but really thin ones. I love that you're trying to guess what these are. Having it's, zero. Oh, clue. Is that maple syrup it comes with? This no, no, it isn't. Um, this is DIY sauce senbai. Again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, so apparently the supermarkets are often closed for a few days over the new year period. Interesting. Uh, senbai rice crackers are a super popular snack. They're easy to eat and loved by all. Uh, you should generously apply the senbai sauce to get a flavorful punch. And I've said that so many times now, the senbai thing. I'm really sorry if I've pronounced it wrong. I think Australia, our supermarkets are only closed for one day on Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day and Good Friday for yeah. Easter. Yeah. Interesting. That'd be something interesting to try if we don't find anything else. Angry sticks. <laughs> okay. Or pain <laughs> sticks. I'm not sure what that face Ooh. is. It's actually spot the sour cider gum. Oh, uh, is this like one of those roulette things? Uh, why not give them a fun shock, it says. One of these pieces of cider gum has a sour surprise. Oh. Who will get it? So you got, I assume it says you get four in a pack, but one is super sour. It looks like it. So are you and your friends brave enough to try? No. What's that sour powder <laughs> that makes everything super sour? Oh, can't remember. I don't know. All right, I'll have to give that a try, Laura. So. That'll be a you thing. Yeah, yeah, you're a big fan of gum in general. I do not like sour, sour things. Uh, now, this is nostalgic Ramune candy, just like the Ramune soda. It looks like tablets. Yeah, so these ones are mini candy bites with fizz and they melt in your mouth. Mm. They come in like a little mini bottle that actually looks like the bottles that you get that the, has a little yeah, marble that drops like in. Push it in yeah. and sort of drop in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the packaging for that too. Cute. All right, what else have we got? You still have more? We well, still have more. Oh nuts. Nuts. Caramel nuts. taro. Nuts. Mm, yep, caramel taro. <laughs> I, I, I may have cheated on that one. 
Fried Japanese snacks are dipped in a caramel sauce and combined with peanuts for a crunchy New Year's flavour explosion. Set to start 2022 with a bang. That does sound pretty delicious, I have to that say. That does sound quite nice, yeah. Alright, uh... We must almost be done. P -p 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 Pocky, but this is the fancy Pocky, isn't it? Yes. This is the winter chocolate Pocky. Um... Just trying to see crunchy pretzel coated rich chocolate with cocoa powder sprinkled on. A chocoholic stream. I think so the, the cocoa powder, rich. yeah. Mm. I always like the packaging of Pocky, but I always think, oh, that looks so delicious. And you had me like, oh, they're okay, at least for me. I like Pocky. It depends on the flavour, though. It does. And how many yeah. flavours are there? Lots. Even in Australia, you can buy some flavours. Did somebody say... Noodles! Ooh, we have ramen. Japanese ramen. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, so in particular, I did see this one as I was flicking through. This is Mr. Tanuki's Spicy Tonkotsu Flavor Cup Ramen. Did somebody say Tom Nook? <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. It replicates the authentic flavors of Tonkotsu Ramen. I like tonkotsu. And with a spicy twist. Ooh. Uh, again, it has the instructions in English, just in case, you know, you're not able to read Japanese like us. All right, we need to taste that Kit Kat because it's an exclusive flavor to this box, I think. Okay, so that was our last item? That was our last item. All right. The box is empty. All right, so we are going to try the exclusive Kit Kat, even though you are not going to be a fan. No. Everyone, makes, everyone looks at me strange when I say I don't drink coffee. Mm. Never really like the smell, I think, is what gets me about it. Fair enough. Uh, so it's a milky coffee flavoured chocolate. So I think it's going to be pretty smooth tasting. Even the camera doesn't want to focus on it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, this is a share pack. So you get a little, whole bunch of mini ones. Little mini ones. I'm not sure. Um, I think, yeah, these will be in the cupboard for a while because I'll have to eat them, won't I? Yeah. And funnily enough, we don't just uh, turn the camera off and... <laughs> You're going to hate the smell. Uh, eat them all. <laughs> no, these take us quite a while to get through. This is very coffee um, heavy with the smell. It makes me very sad, but I can appreciate that it's a nice flavour if you're into that sort of thing. That's not bad. It is quite creamy, but and look, creamy and milky, but it's still got like a real um, coffee like bitterness aftertaste to it as well. It's not sweet really, so it's interesting because most Kit Kats, no matter what the flavour, are still quite like heavily you know sweet chocolate sort of stuff. But that's bitter. Nathan is making faces. Yeah, look. Look, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah. Not for you. Not for me. No. But hey, like I said, it does what it says in the packaging, so it gets it a does. thumbs up from me. Yeah, not bad. Um, they do have a store that you can actually buy them through, so I'm guessing you could probably buy like this exclusive flavor, if, like, mm. um, on their website if that was something that you wanted to do. Was there anything else you wanted to try? Yes, I think we need to try this. Oh boy. Do you want to start opening that? I'll bring the page back up. Yeah. So we've got a. Generously apply out sauce. All right, let's just do it here. Sure. All right, so these are very, very delicate and thin as you oh, can see. This is a runny sauce. Yay! Yeah, I picked the messy thing to open. There's a little <laughs> test strip here. Sorry for my hands. I'm trying to get it and. How many are in there? How many did you get? Like five? Just counting the wafers. Oh, actually quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight of them in there. I doubt you're going to get enough sauce for all of them. Well, maybe you put too much sauce on. But it said apply generously. I mean, look, look at the picture. Yeah, there's quite a bit in the, in the picture yeah. there. Oh, it smells like... This is going to sound weird before I try it, but it smells kind of like KFC's sweet and sour sauce. It does not taste like it. Oh. It's very savoury. Mmm. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how to describe it, sort of like, not Worcestershire sauce, but very, no. quite salty and savoury. Mm. It's nice, don't mm. get me wrong, mm -hmm. but definitely not what I was expecting. It's like its own unique thing. I think it would be hard to put in words, um, if you've never had it, kind of thing. And these crackers, they sort of like, um, you put them up to your lips and they sort of get wet and stick to your mouth. Yeah. I like that, but... That's pretty um, cool, but... I need more sauce. I'm not sure that would be for everybody, though. No, I, I think that's that's quite a strong, savoury, salty flavour. Mm, nice. Um, but yeah, so the Tokyo Treat Box, I like it. It just gives you some 
different things. So yeah, and then we fun. can confuse the kids with these things they can't read. <laughs> exactly. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you've recently subscribed to Tokyo Treat or if you've been subscribed maybe for a long time. Because we've gone on and off subscribers yeah. throughout the years. Yeah, we have. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Monday and Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.